All right, thanks so much, Jorge. My goodness, an offensive explosion for this team tonight. A season high, 11 runs. How nice was it to see those contributions coming from up and down the lineup? I mean, it's really nice to be like working like a team, like a family. Uh, uh, that's how you feel here in the in the in the dugout and the, in the clubhouse. That we are like playing together. We we're going out to to fight that game together. We we're going out to 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 battle every day and try to get the win. So it, it's really nice. It feels it feels really nice to to play uh, uh, with a bunch of uh, 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 teammates like that. Hits in four of your last five games, including a couple of multi-hit efforts. What's working for you at the plate right now? I mean, how I, how I always say it. You flexing in that dugout, but you deserve to do it after the way you crushed that three-run home run. What kind of reception did you get by your teammates in the dugout? Oh, uh, no, that, that was... Uh, 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 the third base coach, uh, he was talking like, oh, the wind is blowing out, like, center field. I'm like, no, man, like, <laughs> look it. <laughs> so we was just joking around, and, and but, I mean, it feels good how I said it. It feels good to win, and, and, and nice job for my uh, 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 for my teammates. I mean, they, they did a great job, and even my, uh, Trevor, he did a, a, a really good job on the mound tonight and give us a, a, a chance to... to to score all those runs. Appreciate the time. Thanks so much, and congratulations on the win. Guys, back to you. One pitch in, uh, it doesn't look so good. And one, arguably, your best offensive night after that. Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of games where that guy leads off with a homer. That I feel like I've lost more of those than I've won, so I didn't feel that bad about it. Um, but Trevor kind of settled in, and, and obviously we were able to I think scratch that run in the second and then get a couple more uh, to get us to 3-1, give him a little cushion, and then just kind of got extended. And, and he seemed to be getting better as the night went on. Yeah, speaking about that, you know, Trevor, because that could have unnerved him instead. He just really dialed in and just gave you seven. No, he hung in there, I thought, early. Uh, wasn't his best command early, early. But as that game got on, it seemed like we got a few runs for him, and then he just started being able to kind of look at that fastball more and more and get ahead in the count and kind of dictate things. Do you like the tree run home or is it working? Yeah, I don't mind it. Just don't use it. We just don't use it enough, right? <laughs> no, it's good to see. You know, Coop's been uh, kind of breaking that out, and, and then and Jorge, those are, you know, those are quick runs, and they, they change the game quick. Um, but one thing, I think I, I like the at bats all night. Just kind of our guys up and down. I thought they did a pretty nice job of uh, sticking with what we were trying to do with Samarja, and then you know, as we got into the bullpen, you know, making adjustments with those guys too. But you speak to, to, to Steve's point on the, on the three run and just those crooked numbers with one swing. Coop and Alfaro clearly are guys that are capable of giving you that, right? <coughs> oh, absolutely. Obviously, Coop's a guy with big power. Uh, just more not really found it up up here until till recently right and then all of a sudden he looks like he's getting a feel for it using the middle of the field more um so obviously capable of it and you know yeah obviously we're not going to complain about it and because we know it's there and that's what you know as we look at it analytics guys look at it and we bring him in you know last year you know they kind of envisioned this and we just weren't able to get to it and get him regular playing time just because of the injuries. And now we're starting to be able to get him out there and starting to see it. You start to see um, Cooper obviously recently come back really in that stretch. Harold really has been hitting. How much, you know, especially the way those guys are hitting really in that production, how much does that kind of help the rest of the lineup where you guys, it's really maybe getting a confidence with the way those guys are and everyone in the lineup hitting now? Well, I think it, you know, anytime you get more guys swinging the bat, and you talk about it like it lengthens your lineup it puts more pressure on the pitcher you know harold's getting his hits so that means he's out there coop's been getting his hits that means he's out there uh it just continues to to be able to have guys on base you're not hitting three run homers if guys aren't getting on base so i, th I think in general as we you know we get more guys swinging the bat and kind of looking for, you know coop we've always thought is kind of pure hit uh, you know not necessarily going to get big power but we're going to get hit uh, puts the ball in play. Harold's the same way. We don't know how much power we're going to get, but we know he can hit. So he's a guy that can swing the bat and 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 kind of stays with everybody. So all of a sudden, you get some guys that are just more the pure hit instead of thinking about the power first, think about the hit first, uh, using the whole field in our ballpark, and then the power comes. So it's like we're, we're better off with the hit guys.
Uh, your decision when you went to, to put him in the two-hole coup, uh, obviously he's responded there. You know, just your thought process when you get him there and, and then seeing him. Well, it wasn't so much about him. It was really more about when I had Birdie uh, playing center. I just wanted to put the guys in there, put our young guys up front, put him and Coop, him, Birdie, Coop, and Andy right up front, and then been able to link that lineup going back. Uh, so then you put Neil and, and, and Starlin and Prado, uh, and that's really when I put Miggy in the, in the eight hole, which I, I like him back there from the standpoint. I think he hits better back there because he looks like he just tries to get his hits. Put him in different parts of the order, and I think he thinks differently. But back there, he's had good at bats. He's extended rallies by walk. You know, he gets a walk the other day. He gets on base. Uh, he's got some, and he's going to get big hits because he knows he knows what he's doing up there. So I kind of, you know, getting him all the way to the back has really helped. I think helped our lineup because when it rolls over, you, know, you got somebody out there. I know we continue to talk about Harold, but he seems to have a knack and ability to barrel up the baseball, and he doesn't seem to get fooled much. What gives a player? the ability to do that and what has made him so successful uh, i think for the most part harold is really what we've seen in spring training and you see that kind of close stance uh he doesn't get away from it and he just stays with what he does and it really you're really basically asking to get pitched inside and because it's really where you should go but guys aren't used to going there and they don't like going there and then they miss and then they try to go away and, and, he, and he can hurt you so uh, Harold sticks with what he does, and it doesn't. Even if you throw some balls in there, it doesn't get him thinking in there. He just keeps hitting. Trevor went for seven innings. Uh, what was your thinking on him? Yeah, he, uh, he committed what a couple of hiccups uh, that lead off home run, and then it was uh, a little dribbler in field to hit. Uh, what was your thinking in terms maybe if you wanted to stretch him out, or you were just satisfied you didn't want to get any? Uh, uh, he was stretched out. He was in the 90s. There's no reason. We we're in a we we're in a pretty good stretch here. Games like we're 22 out of 23 or right around that. So it's hard to get these guys breaks. Uh, but there's no reason to take him. We got a 10 run lead or nine run lead at that point. There's no reason to take him to 110 for no reason. Eliezer hadn't pitched. He needed to pitch. So it was really what was best for everybody. What does it say about kind of maybe the growth and maturity of a guy like Trevor? You know, gives up the home run on the first pitch. You mentioned it wasn't maybe the best stuff for a little bit. Better and better as 21 of the next 23 is retired. What does it say maybe about his kind of growth and mindset, the way he really just established control in there? Well, I think with Trevor, we've seen it last, we've seen last year. I think that's what's been really impressive. I think not just Trevor, but our, our young starters, is the guys that got opportunities last year have taken strides forward. And Trevor... Those games could maybe turn into a bad game last year. But he really understands, I think, that he, he just didn't get the ball where he wanted. You know, he goes back to executing pitches. Uh, he's going to be able to change speeds with, uh, you know, the changeup is always something that's in the back of guys' minds. Uh, so they try to get him early. He's seen early on the first guy, first, first pitch, next guy, first pitch. You know, so last year he tried to establish the fastball too, you know, more often. But now it's like, okay, you want to swing first pitch, then he starts establishing a change up early. And then he can he can flip flip flop kind of back and forth. So I, I think he's just he's been able to understand that that was one pitch. I missed my spot. I need to execute, and he just goes back to executing. Lead off home run would be the only run that you allowed. What did you think of the way that you were really able to settle in after that first at bat by panic and get through seven innings? Yeah, I mean, first pitch of the game, I'm just trying to throw a strike. He, he jumped on it, um, and I just I just have to keep going after that and just kind of stick with the game plan, don't let that affect me. And uh, basically, overall, just the fastball command was there, and I mean, you see what happens when I can command a fastball. There's, it sets up opportunities for other pitches, and um, just working ahead is a different ballgame. Obviously, you to be able to rebound and keep it right there, and then your guys just, the offense just kind of exploded. You know, what was that like for you? Yeah, the, I mean, the offense came out and swung it today. That was fun to watch. Um, put up some runs on the board and made plays behind me as well. So just overall, it was a good team, team win. You have that kind of thing, you have to have that kind of short-term memory, you know, especially, you know, on the first pitch like that. What are you thinking on the mound where, you know, the first pitch you make, it doesn't go your way, and then by the way you responded, what are you kind of thinking in that spot? You just kind of got to erase it. Just, um, and there's, after, after it's gone, there's nothing you can do about it. So you just got to focus on the rest of the game and uh, just execute pitches a little bit better. Um, obviously, I left that one over the middle, first pitch, um, but 
overall you just got to kind of erase it and continue on. The past three games, really three strong starts from you. What have you been seeing or what, how do you feel like, what have you been the strengths you've been doing in these past three, especially right now? Yeah, just, just settling in a little bit, kind of getting, finding myself mechanically again, getting a better rhythm, um, being able to mix pitches. And like I said, um, just fastball command sets everything up. So um, being able to get that fastball in, in, out, all around the zone is really important. Being that you were so good tonight, your thoughts when the ball went to the backstop and your teammates were laughing at you? Did you I, take a I was laughing there? too. No, I, <laughs> I was laughing too. I almost fell right off the mound. So uh, that was, that's not the first time I've done that. I've done that before, but usually I, I can get it not halfway up the backstop. <laughs> When's the last time you had one like that? It's been a while. It's <laughs> been, I, I've caught my cleat like that before th during this year, but. I, it wasn't that that much. It was just like a little nick. That one I caught square. <laughs> you got your first big league win against the Giants last season. Considering how far you've come, where do you feel like you've grown the most as a pitcher? Uh, I think it, I think just overall, it, I'm a I'm kind of a different pitcher than last year. I still have fastball changeup, but um, the, developing those other pitches kind of keeps something else in the back of the hitter's head. And it's um, not only that, but locating the fastball is like just all that combined kind of is it's a different look than last year's. Then so hitters have more to think about, and it definitely benefits. Harold, you talked about it recently, just where your confidence is at. How much does it continue to grow when you have another multi-hit effort like tonight? I really feel my my confidence very high today because I just come in here to enjoy my game. So, you know, you see the results. We know that you were swinging a hot bat in AAA. You said that you made some adjustments to make sure that you carried over that success to this level. What have been some of the adjustments that you focused on at the plate to remain successful? I just try to be happy. Everybody enjoyed the game. So that's what we want. You've obviously waited a long moment, a long time to get to this moment to Major League Baseball and to have this success the way you've been doing and showing everyone, hey, I can really play at a high level. How does that feel the way you're performing so far? I feel so good. I feel very excited to be here with my teammates. So. I believe, I sometimes I don't believe I'm here, but my mom and my wife told me, believe it because you're here. <laughs> are you getting, a, you're getting a lot of text messages, a lot of congrats? You've had a lot of great games in a row. Are you getting a lot of messages and stuff after yeah. these games? <laughs> yeah, I really want to answer everybody, but it's too many. Everybody <laughs> text me, but I just want to say thank you, everybody.